All right. All right, guys. We are live from the quarantine, and it is Friday morning, and we have a super, super exciting workout for you today. Um, I am, uh, I love this workout. It is uh, going to be an interval workout where we, ah, oh, Heather, hi. Hi, sorry I'm late. No, you're all right. I don't know why it keeps unmuting you guys. Mute. Okay. So. Um, anyway, so we're going to be doing a series of exercises. We're just going to be doing this series of exercises one time through, and it's going to be timed. So we're going to do, uh, for our first circuit, 50 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. For our second circuit, 40 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. And for our third circuit, 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of rest. So we'll be making sure that we go through each of those exercises in our warm up. And if you have a pair of dumbbells, that would be great. Um, or a kettlebell is fine also. Um, all of these exercises we can also do with uh, just body weight. If you do not have either of those things, that is okay. So story of the day. I'm really excited about this story of the day. This is one that, um, that, this is one that Josh and I uh, chose um, as opposed to getting it from headquarters. Um, it's such a fantastic story. There, there was, um, in 1947, there was a Pan Am flight going from Calcutta to New York. And um, as, the, as the, uh, the flight was in process, um, one of the uh, engines overheated. And uh, then that caused the other engine on the flight to, um, to catch fire. And so, um, which caused a panic amongst the passengers. And so the co-pilot unbuckled his belt, went, into the, went to where the passengers are, and uh, tried to calm them down. He found uh, a woman who was sitting by herself, and he sat next to her, and he held her hand, and he said, it's going to be okay. And he said it was going to be okay as he watched through the window the plane's engine rage on fire. The, um, the fire then uh, caused the plane's engine to fall off. He said, it's going to be OK. Don't worry. It's going to be OK. And um, then the fire consumed the plane. And the plane pitched forward um, and was going to crash. And he said to her, you know what? It's going to be OK. And the plane hit hard in the Syrian desert, instantly killing 14 of its passengers and, um, and, and uh, crew. And um, he uh, got off the plane got some people to safety. He had two broken ribs, ran back onto the plane, kept trying to rescue people until the plane was completely engulfed in flames and he could no longer uh, save anybody. Um, the morning came and there was no rescue flight. And uh, he, he figured like they would have, somebody would have known that they would have crashed and they would have come by now. And so he formed two search parties and um, he was on one of the search parties and they were um, walking across the Syrian desert. They came, across a, a, came a, uh, upon a village and that village just happened to have a radio. So they called and they got rescued and they saved 22 people on that flight. This was a very, very uh, earth shattering event for this particular person who then decided to, um, he didn't want to be a pilot anymore. And he decided, and oh, by the way, this guy was 25 years old when this all happened. And um, he decided he didn't want to be a pilot anymore and he wanted to go up and pursue his dream of being a writer and a director. And that person was Gene Roddenberry, creator, director, and writer of Star Trek. Now, it's not like this is this only event in this guy's life. Like he was a decorated World World War II um, um, Air um, uh, Air Force pilot. This was his third plane crash that he had survived, and um, he um, he was also an LA cop. I mean, he had done he had done quite a few things in his his very short life up to that point, and uh, yeah, decided that he wanted to pursue this dream. Created Star Trek, which. You know, I'm a huge nerd. Um, I am definitely more of a Star Trek nerd than I am a Star Wars nerd. But I mean, Star Trek was just so cutting edge and, and it really, really hit some pretty um, delicate subject matter at the time. And the, the beauty of the story is that he created something that made us not feel alone in this universe. 
And he sat next to that person upon imminent doom and made her feel safe by saying, it's okay. And uh, I think about that plane crash as like, like the coronavirus, right? The, 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 the pandemic has been the slowest train wreck I've ever witnessed, you know? But at the same time, this gives us that opportunity to connect with people and to help somebody and to just, just get out there and feel, and feel that connection even, even with this crazy social distancing and, and all these other things that we're going through. So anyway, ah, that story just chokes me up. I just, ah, I just love, love that man. Anyway, um, guys, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna start with our mobility. Hope you have some water. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start in our Cossack stretch. Leg out to side. I'm going to rock back, bringing my butt back to my heel and forward. Back to my heel and forward. All right, guys, my hips are feeling real tight this morning, so we're going to be doing a lot of hip stuff. Let's go ahead and rock back and forward about 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's do some leg lifts. Without lifting that hip, I want you to really feel that glute activate. Just give me five on the right. All right, let's go ahead and switch it out to the left side, rocking back and forth. Guys, we're getting a nice little wrist flexion with this also. If you have any wrist problems, you can come onto your knuckles or grab a pair of dumbbells and elevate yourself. That is fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And leg lift. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go ahead and do some hip circles. So I'm gonna bring my knee to my elbow, out to the side, up and back and down. I'm making these really big knee circles, keeping that leg at a right angle. Let's go ahead and do five forward. And then we're gonna go five back, reversing our direction but just get that full range of motion, guys. Try to get that elbow to that knee. Four and five. Let's switch it out to the other side. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Nice, nice, big, big circles. Here we go. Five, all right. Taking it the other way. four and five all right guys let's go ahead while we're still here let's go ahead and do our cat cow so we're going to lead with our tailbone so i want you to feel every single vertebrae as you're bringing your head down and your thoracic spine up to the up to the ceiling now we're going to reverse the direction start with your tailbone arch that back bringing that head up hips up Take it the other way. Slow, controlled, feeling every single vertebrae. Let's do five cats, five cows. This is three. All right, guys, let's come up onto one knee. I'm gonna bring my pelvis forward, so I'm gonna get this really nice stretch in my quad. We're gonna do some half kneeling shoulder circles. So I'm gonna keep my rib cage down, but I'm gonna reach out of my arm socket, all right? I'm gonna reach forward. My palm is facing opposite from you. Now I'm gonna turn my hand, turn my shoulder, have my palm face you. As I bring it back and around, my palm is going to face that back wall again. And now it's going to face up at the ceiling. 
come down. Again, up at the ceiling, turning, rotating that entire arm and that shoulder, reaching, reaching, reaching. Now my palm is facing you. Then I'm rotating, turning it to that back wall again. And down. Switch it out to the other side. Again, I'm reaching, keeping that rib cage down, reaching towards you. Now I'm rotating that hand. Having it continue to rotate until my palm is up. Come back down, release. Reaching dynamically through that arm. Rotating. Breathing. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Nice. All right. I love these, these I's and these W's and these T's. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand up. We're going to hinge over. So just like we're in a bent row or an RDL, we're going to bring our butts back. You're going to feel this stretch in your hamstring. You're going to bring your hands up near your ears. And then you're going to go and have your arms come back as high as you can in like a ski jumper position. Have it come up, have it come back. Let's go ahead and do five times. This way, so my arms are right next to my ears. My palms are facing up. Three, four, and five. Next, guys, we're gonna go into our W's. So I'm gonna bring my elbows together, my hands together, coming in that bent position, that hinge position bringing my hands out, elbows out, and back in. So I'm making sure to keep my hands aligned with my shoulders, elbows are back, really getting those shoulder blades to squeeze together at the top. Four, and five. All right, next, we got our T's. So hinge, come out, arms straight out to the side, Squeezing those shoulder blades. Pause at the top. Three, four, and five. Nice. Now, we're gonna widen out our feet. We're gonna go into our deep squat. What we're gonna do is touch one foot, rotate out, rotate out the other side, and then I want you to straighten your legs and get this really nice hamstring stretch. Hold it for a second. See if you can get your back to kind of release. Lengthen, come back down, rotate, rotate. Get that back to release, lengthen. Try to straighten those legs if you can. Okay. Rotate, rotate, and lengthen. Nice. All right. I'm gonna move my mat out of the way. And so guys, while we're doing, we're gonna go through each one of these exercises in our circuit as far as our warm up is concerned. Now, what I would prefer is let's not do it with any weight. Let's just get used to the, um, the action of it. There are some that we will have to do weight, like our curls or whatever. But like right now, we're gonna start with our reverse lunges. So let's, let's not use any weight. Um, you can choose to use weight when you're actually doing the circuit itself. We're not going fast with this circuit. We are going slow and controlled. Speed strength day, Wednesday is our only day that we go fast with those exercises. Otherwise, we're being really slow and controlled. So we're gonna start with our reverse lunge. So I'm gonna step back. And what I'm trying to do is get that knee to about an inch off the ground and I'm stepping up. All that weight is going into this front leg, okay? Now, now switch it out. Keep switching it out. Give me five on each side. Trying to keep that chest upright. Don't let that chest bend over as you're doing it. We're keeping our chest up. Now, it's your choice. If you want to do more of a mobility, or if you want to do more of a strength with this, if you want to do more of a mobility um, lunge with this, then you have that lunge out really long. 
If you want it to be more strength oriented, you have that knee in closer to that heel. All right, next, we're gonna go into our eccentric push-up. So we're all gonna do this from the floor. We're not gonna do this from an elevated surface, okay? So we're gonna start up at the top. I wanna make sure that my shoulders are over my wrists. My butt is about the same level as my, as my shoulders. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly lower to the ground, slowly, like about a 3,000 count. And then I'm gonna come back up, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, as slow as you possibly can. And then just assist yourself back up, all right? Go ahead and give me five of those as slow as you can. Five. All right. Next, guys, we're going to do our squats. So when we're actually doing the circuit, you can grab a dumbbell. Right now, we're just going to do body weight. So we're going to widen out those feet, I'm squeezing my glutes, keeping my chest and back as upright as possible, coming down and up. Guys, depth before dishonor. Make sure you're getting that depth with this. All right, so I'm trying to get parallel with my hip and my knee, if not a little bit lower. Go ahead and give me 10 right now. Really squeezing those glutes as I come up. Power up, out of it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. Next, guys, we're going to go into our penguins. So we're going to be down on the ground. I'm going to bring in my knees, I'm sorry, my feet in close to my butt. I'm going to come up on my shoulder blades. I'm going to reach down as far as I can down that shoe and then to the other side. So I'm really, really crunching those obliques and expanding it on the other side. So go ahead and give me 10 on each side. Nine and 10, awesome. Next, we have our curls. So yes, we will need weights for this one. So I'm gonna have my feet more narrow, about, about hips width, bringing my, my palms facing you, curl it up and back down. Again, guys, we're not going fast with this. We're going slow, we're going slow and controlled. Keep hitting my mic with the dumbbells. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm locking out my glutes, keeping that pillar of my body really, really strong with this. All right, hopefully that was about 10. Next, guys, we're gonna go into our split squats. So for my split squats, I'm gonna always be up on that back toe in the back, so my heel is always gonna be raised. I'm gonna lock out both of my legs at the top. I'm gonna come down, bringing that knee close to the floor and back up. So lock out those legs at the top. I want straight legs at the top. Come down, lock out those legs. Go ahead and give me 10 on the right and then 10 on the left. Now, when we're doing the circuit itself, you can always have dumbbells in either hand or in a goblet in both hands. Squeezy, squeezy, guys. Trying to get that knee to travel forward over that ankle. All right, let's take it to the other side. Up on that back toe. Lock out those legs. Nine and 10. Awesome. Guys, we're gonna go into our X crunch now. One of my favorite ab exercises. Arms are out straight, legs are out straight. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna to touch my toes if I possibly can. Get this nice little stretch at the top. Come back down, reach forward. 
Try not to throw yourself. Try to really engage those abs in order to pull yourself forward. Give me 10 of these. Eight. Nine. And 10. Always finish on the down so that you complete the exercise. All right, guys. Next, we have our T-spine plank. So I'm gonna come to my forearms. I'm gonna widen out my feet so I get those, that, those hips stable. I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna rotate. So I'm trying really hard to keep that butt about the same level as my shoulders so I'm not pushing back. I'm keeping those shoulders over those elbows, all right? Go ahead and give me 10 on each side. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Woo! All right. Next, we have our upright row. So again, we're gonna grab our dumbbells for this. Feet are more narrow. My palms are facing in towards me as I lead with my elbows and back down. Lead with those elbows and back down. Go ahead and give me 10. Keep that back upright, guys. Keep those glutes on. Squeezy squeezies. Slow and controlled. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And it's so convenient that we already have our dumbbells in hand because now we're going to go into our high pulls. So for my high pull, I'm going to start in this RDL position where my butt is back towards the back wall, hinging over. And then I'm going to blast up out of my legs and I'm going to come, come up just like in that upright row, but I'm starting down low, using my legs to help me power up. Three, four, five. Make sure you hit that really good RDL before you start again. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten Woo! that was a lot luckily those two things are split up between two different circuits so we're not gonna be doing those back to back then we have our squat hold to overhead press so i'm gonna go into a deep squat but i'm not gonna lose my squat i'm gonna stay i'm gonna keep power in there and then i'm gonna go into my overhead press so go ahead and give me ten of these Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you're doing this, if your weight's a little too heavy, you can also just grab one dumbbell, all right, and do it that way. All right, then I have my glute bridges. So I'm going to lay down, bring my, my feet in close to my butt. Then I'm going to keep my shoulder blades and my head and my lower back on the ground to start. I'm going to press my hips up to the ceiling and back down. Hips up to the ceiling, really squeeze. Should feel those quads activate, feel those glutes activate. Go ahead and give me 10, slow and controlled. nine and ten all right so next we have our knee grabs again convenient that we're already on the ground so my legs are out straight my arms are in tight to my chest come forward making sure to bring those shoulders over those hips use those shins guys just get those shoulder blades to touch the ground and come back up again go ahead and give me ten 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, again, always finish on the down to complete that exercise. All right, and then we have our bent rows. Our hinge should be all nice and super warmed up at this point. So I'm gonna hinge over, bringing that butt back. I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades together. I wanna get that upper torso at about a 90 degree angle to the ground. Like I'm pulling on heavy pants, bringing those hands back to my hips. Really squeeze those shoulder blades, guys. Feel this in your hamstrings. If you need to play with the bending your knee in order to feel that in your hamstring, go for it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Coach Josh is being particularly loud this morning with his weights. He has headphones in, so he might not even realize how loud he's being. Anyway, so guys, that is all of the exercises that we'll be doing today. But for our first circuit, we're gonna be doing 50 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we're only gonna be doing five exercises. We're gonna be doing our reverse lunges, switching it out each time. Then we're gonna do that eccentric push-up where we slowly lower, get back up, slowly lower. We're gonna be doing our dumbbell squats, okay? Then we have our penguins, boop, 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 and then our curls. We're just doing each of those exercises one time through, that's it. 50 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And I'll make sure that I'm calling out what the next exercise is before we start. So, let's go ahead and grab some water before we start, catch our breath. All right, so you should all be set up to go. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty familiar with all the things that we're just about to hit. Again, we're gonna start with our reverse lunges. In three, two, one, go. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells for this. All right, guys, making sure to get all that weight into that front leg. So I'm not pushing off with that back leg. What I'm doing is I'm pulling in with that forward leg. If you have knee issues, a lot of times the reverse lunge is kinder on knee issues than the forward lunge is. All right, guys, we got 20 seconds left. Taking it slow, taking it controlled. About 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. I actually turned down the buzzer on the uh, timer yesterday because it was just so loud. Now it's a little too soft, but that's okay. I will tell you what's happening. We got nine seconds left. We're going into our eccentric push up. Eccentric push up. We can all do this from the floor. All right. Getting set up. Here we go. 1001, 1002, 1003. Then get up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Lower as slowly as you possibly can, right? Everything's squeezing, everything's on, guys. Now, if you can do a strict push-up, you can just do a strict push-up, right? So you're still going slow down, and then you're just coming back up again. Coming slow, slow, slow down. Keeping those elbows in tight to the body, and back up again, all right? We got 14 seconds left, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Or if you get tired as you're trying to do the strict push-ups, just go ahead and assist yourself back up again. Okay, three, two, one. All right, 20 seconds of rest. Now we're going into our dumbbell squat. Grabbing my dumbbell. Five seconds left, widening out those feet. Here we go, two, one, hit it. Boom, really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. I've grabbed my, I've grabbed my dumbbell in a goblet-like position. You could also do front rack by grabbing two. 
if you want to make it a little bit harder. All right. We've got about 27 seconds left. I want you to really power up out of it. Trying to keep that back as upright as possible as you go. Got about 10 seconds left, guys. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, I feel like penguins are a little bit of a break, huh? But then there's always 50 seconds of penguins, which is quite a lot. So getting into our position, we got five seconds left. All right. We're starting now. Go. Guys, take it slow. Get that crunch. Get down as far down. Reach down as far down those shoes as you possibly can. Side to side. Getting those obliques worked on. Whoo. Yeah, what was I saying about this being a little bit of a break? Ha ha. Who knew penguins were such a intense animal? Okay, we got about 12 seconds left. You got this. Four, three, two, one. Ah. Guys, 20 seconds, then we're going into our curls. Going into our curls, 50 seconds of curls. If you have lighter dumbbells, that might be an idea. Unless you wanna push yourself, that's fine. But we're just keeping that pace. Three, two, one, hitting it. This is the last exercise in our circuit. So, last set. set. Slow and controlled. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Do not forget the power of the buttocks. All right. If you're ever having elbow issues while you're doing curls, you can always go into a neutral grip with it. The neutral grip is a lot easier on the elbows. Sometimes my left elbow gets a little tweaked. So the hammer curl is a little bit easier. Got seven seconds left. Three, two, one, yeah. All right. That was it for our first circuit that you only had to do each of those exercises one time through. And now we're moving on to our second set of five. We're gonna take a little bit of a break before we go into it. And we're gonna grab some water. Super important to hydrate. All right. So guys, the next set of five exercises, we're gonna be doing our split squats for 40 seconds and then 25 seconds of rest. But with our split squat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it all on one leg for 40 seconds. We rest for 25 seconds and then we go to our other leg for 40 seconds, okay? Then the next exercise is gonna be our X crunch where our arms and our legs are extended coming forward and back down. And then we're gonna do our T-spine plank, rolling over, feet out wide, rotating, rotating, okay? And then we have our upright rows. So if you have a heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell, you can do this with just one, all right? Or if you have lighter dumbbells, you can do it with two, okay? So. Those are the five exercises in this next circuit. And we're gonna be starting here in about 10 seconds. All right, I'm just gonna grab a little more water before I start. And for my split squats, I am gonna do it weighted this time. Again, you can do it in a goblet style or you can hold it on either side, whichever one you prefer. And we're starting in three, two, one, go with my split squats. So guys, for, don't forget that heel is always up in the back. Really squeeze at the top, come down, squeeze at the top. 
If you want, you can always grab a pillow so you don't smash that knee onto the ground. But you should be doing this slow and controlled. If you have your camera on, you can see how close you're getting to the ground. We want to get about an inch off the ground. Staying on the same leg the entire time. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so now I have 25 seconds of rest. I might want to put my dumbbells down for my rest. And then we're going to just make sure we're switching it out to our other side. Remember which side you just did. We're going to bring that other leg up in the back for this one. We got about five seconds before we're starting again. All right, getting in that split squat position. Here we go, 40 seconds. Squeezing both of those legs at the top, staying up on that back heel. This is one of those exercises that I love because I feel really alive. I feel all the cells in my legs as I'm squeezing. Guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, one. All right, next we have our X crunch. So you can put your dumbbells down. I'm gonna make some room. This is one of those exercises that kind of takes up a lot of our space in our living room since we're fully extended on the ground. All right, so guys, we got five seconds left. And we're going in three, two, one. Going for it. X crunch, X force. Try to touch those toes if possible or get as close to those toes as you can. Again, guys, I'm not throwing myself. I'm really using those abs to help me up. Making sure to get completely flat at the bottom. I want to get that nice arm extension with this too. Five, four, three, two, one. Aha, 25 seconds of rest. Then we're going into our T-spine plank. I love those T-spine planks. Feels so good. Opening up that chest, getting that upper back to also stretch and open up. We got five seconds, guys, five seconds. Let's get into position. All right, and we're going for it. Slow and controlled, widen out those feet for stability. Try to rotate as much as you can. Follow that elbow with your eyes, all right? Don't let that butt come up. Don't let those shoulders push back, all right? Keep that butt down as I'm rotating. All right, got 13 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Next, I have my upright rows. Yeah. So I'll either be grabbing one heavier dumbbell or kettlebell, or I'll be grabbing two dumbbells. Okay. So 40 seconds of work. I think I'm just going to grab one heavier dumbbell. All right. Feet are more narrow and we're going. Guys, lead with those elbows. Make sure your elbows are coming up first. Squeezing those glutes. Use the power of the butt, always. Got this, 15 seconds left. Ah. It's our last set. It's our best set. And that was it. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys, that was it. So we got a couple. We're going to take a little bit of rest. We're going to grab some water. 
And then we're going to go to our last five. Last five exercises. So this time, our circuit is going to be 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. So this is the most rest that you've had and the least amount of work. And so what we're going to do is that high pull. So we're going to grab our dumbbells. I'm coming over into that hinge position. And then I'm using those legs to really power up. All right, boom. And then I'm going to go into our squat hold to overhead press. So this one, I might use just one dumbbell instead of two. So we're holding that squat. That is an active squat. We're not sitting down into it. We're holding into that active squat as we're pressing up. And then we have our glute bridges. So my glute bridges, my feet are in tight to my body. My back is on the ground. Then I'm lifting those, my butt up into the air, my hips up as high as I possibly can and back down trying to get that lower back to touch each time. And then I got my knee grabs, legs out straight, coming in, grabbing those shins, back down, boom. All right, knee grabs. And then for my last exercise in the circuit, I have my bent rows. So hinging again, getting that upper torso about 90 degrees or parallel to the floor. And bringing those hands in close to those hips as we do. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit more water and then we're gonna get into it. All right, ha ha. So again, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. We got this guys and we are starting with our high pulls. All right, in three, two, one, hit it. So I'm in my hinge and then boom, coming up. Hinge, power up with those legs, getting those hips to squeeze forward. Ha! Luckily, we're just doing 30 seconds. That's it, just 30 seconds of work. Ha! Ha, all right, that was it. Next guys, we're gonna be going into our squat to overhead press, but we also have 30 seconds of rest right now. So if you want, you can just recover, or if you wanna do an active recovery, you can also do like a walking quad stretch just in place, like we used to do in the dojo, grabbing opposite leg, stretching up as we do this. Making sure to get that knee. Oh, and we're starting again. All right, so overhead press, overhead press. Whoa, here we go. Keeping active in that squat hold. Guys, if this gets too heavy and you're not getting that full range of motion with those arms upright, drop the weight and just use your arms. That is okay. Two. One, all right. Next, we're gonna be going into our glute bridges. So, I'm gonna not distract you with my active recovery. I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready for it. We've got about 15 seconds of rest left. Woo! So, got five seconds. Get into position, getting those knees close to the, or those feet close to that butt. And we're going. Squeeze up at the top. <sighs> Exhale as you bring those hips up to the ceiling. <sighs> All right, get those glutes to really push those hips up. <sighs> Try to get that lower back to touch the ground on the bottom. Two, one. Wow, 30 seconds is exponentially less time than 50 seconds it feels like. All right guys, actually I just should have stayed on the ground. I got my knee grabs next. We got about 15 seconds more of rest before we go into our knee grabs. 
All right. Guys, five seconds. And then we're hitting it. Three, two, one. Going for it. Try to get those feet flat on the ground at the top. This one, if you want to go a little bit faster, you can. It's not a problem. Get those shoulders over those hips at the top. Guys, we got five seconds left. And done with that one. All right. Then we're going into our bent row. So this is going to be our last set. This is it. Thank you. Guys, we got to. Wow, <laughs> yeah, to get through your earphones, whatever podcast. Yeah, cut through. there's a lot of noise in that head. Uh, all right, five seconds, guys. We're going into our bent rows. Don't let Coach Josh distract you. <laughs> guys, squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Feel those hamstrings activate. Try to keep that head in a neutral spine. Don't be looking up at the ceiling. Just look in, for, in front of you at about a 45 degree angle. Pulling on heavy pants. Pull on heavy pants. Squeezy, squeezies. You got this. Five seconds left. Last set. You got this. Yeah. All right. Let's grab some water. And then we're going to go into our homework. Or otherwise known as dessert, otherwise known as workout snack. Got to love those workout snacks, guys. Some days we just don't feel motivated to do the workout. Just do the homework. Just do a workout snack. That's totally fine. All right. So I'm going to do my Cossack lunge for my homework, 10 on each side. I want to come out really long with this, trying to get that hamstring close to that calf. This toe is facing up at the ceiling, coming back in, coming out. Get long, get long with it. This is another exercise that takes up probably the maximum amount of space in the room that we're in. Don't forget to get that toe pointed up. Get deep. Four. Five. Six. Ah. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Next, we're going to go into our four point hip mobility. We are in this quadruped position. My knees are slightly elevated, just like when I start my sit out position. I'm going to swing that knee out as I bring that foot forward and tap. 10 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah. Then we have our archer planks. Another one of my favorites. Drawing that hand, following that hand with those eyes, coming back down. Get those feet out wide for stability. 10 on each side. This is my fifth one. Take it slow. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. 
Yeah. Guys, we did it. That was awesome. Haha. -ha. So, if you haven't seen Josh's video on the 10 penny challenge, uh, that's on the secret Facebook group. We're going to go ahead and uh, send out a Haymarket with a link to the YouTube video on that. But the 10 penny challenge is really, really cool. And uh, there'll be written instructions on there so you can see what we're doing with that. But one of the cool things with the 10 penny challenge, one of those ways to get that penny from your left pocket to your right pocket is to connect. Is to connect, help somebody out, help somebody feel not alone, you know. It's a big, huge universe out there, guys. And it's really important to not feel alone, especially when we're in this semi quasi quarantine state. Yeah. So we're always here to help you feel not alone. Schedule an appointment with us whenever you guys want to talk. We're also going through checking in with all the warriors coming up with our warrior individualized plans. And uh, that's been super fun, super exciting. And uh, can't wait. You can't wait to help you guys bring forth the warrior within meow, 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 unmute. Ha. Oh, there's Brenda's fur baby. Oh my goodness. It's fur baby time. <laughs> oh yeah. I think they watch me and wonder, what, why would I do such a thing? In this I book? know. I know. Seriously. It's like human. Come on. 